We've all heard about 10,000 steps a day, but the weight loss sweet spot is actually 14,000 steps a day. So we're gonna combine the weight loss sweet spot of step counting with the power of OMAD. Welcome to my OMAD step challenge for the month of May. It's a challenge I'm seeking out for myself, so I thought I would invite you guys to join. If you're new here, welcome. This is my transformation with one meal a day. I made this transformation last year, and I started my weight loss journey off at 282 pounds. After dealing with a lot, my weight loss journey has not been easy. Lots of injuries, lots of pain, but through the pain, I found my power. I lost the weight, majority with Keto OMAD. However, I've been successful with Keto Diet, and I've thrown in fasting here. I've done the normal looking diet, high protein diet, low carb, but I find the most success with one meal a day. So I am here back on my one meal a day grind after taking a break from one meal a day because that's sometimes necessary. Your body might adopt to it, adapt to it. So I'm gonna do a video talking about the importance of varying your fast. But anyway, here is the one meal a day steps challenge, AKA the OMAD steps challenge. So, rule number one, you wanna aim for 14,000 steps a day. 14,000 steps a day is more than 10,000 steps a day. So it's gonna allow you to burn extra calories. Also, you're gonna be outside more, it's gonna help bring down your mood, it's gonna bump up those serotonin levels, which is important on a weight loss journey. And most importantly, which is what I forgot to mention, is that walking helps to reduce the cortisol levels. Now I live in a Siberian desert. <laughs> it's very cold here. However, spring has arrived. So I'm taking advantage of going outside. So wherever you are, you gotta take advantage of going outside to make sure you get in those steps. Because with weight loss, the easiest thing you can do is just walking walking the more you weigh the more you will burn now this will vary so what i want you guys to do is i'll have a link in the description below about your step cal calculation so you just enter in your height your weight and your step count goal which will be 14,000, and you tell me in the comments below how much calories you'll burn with 14,000 steps. Like I said, it varies with height, and it varies with weight, and it varies with gender. So I wanna know your numbers below. My number, I believe, is 700 calories for 14,000 steps. But remember, this is a generic number. I probably burn way more due to my muscle mass. But anyway, so that's the rules. The goal is to get 14,000 steps a day. Now, here are tips on how you can do that. Tip number one is to space out your steps. You want to be able to... You're ruining my walk. <laughs> you want to be able to spread out your steps. So it's good to get in some of your steps first thing in the morning, which is what I'm doing right now with my girl, Bo, who's absolutely not listening at all. So you want to space out your steps that way. So go on a like 20 minute walk before you start work or first thing in the morning. It's a great way to start your day. And another tip to get in more steps, if you are working out at the gym, try doing some interval training on the treadmill where you're running. So I'll give you some interval training numbers that you can use to help you shred fat for running or just it doesn't have to be running. You could just be speed walking and then slowing down because interval training is how you get to burning fat. So for example, let's say you can do maybe one minute of intense walking or running three minute rest. That's one interval strategy. You could also do one minute on two minute rest. And that's another interval strategy. My trainer's got me doing right now for me. She got me doing 40 seconds on and three minutes rest. That can work as well. So you can do that. And if you do interval training on the treadmill, it's going to help you with getting in more steps. I noticed on days that I run, I easily get in more steps. So that's some tips there. Make it a habit. And if you combine this step count with one meal a day, I promise you, the weight loss will happen. Stay dedicated, stay focused, stay committed. Just one month, starting May 1st, you'll see surprising results.
when you combine this powerful method with one meal a day. So what is one meal a day? All it is is condensing your calories within an hour eating window. That's what I've been doing lately, not by trying, or within a four hour eating window. So my calorie count right now for me, based on my activity level and based on the muscle I am building is about 1800 calories. Have I been able to reach 1800 calories every OMAD? No, but I come close. Some days I do 15, yesterday I did 17. All I'm doing is eating those calories within a 45 minute eating window, or I space it out within a four hour eating window. And how I've been spacing it out by fasting 20 hours a day is, hang on, I got a dog that's being naughty. So the way I've been spacing it out, when I fast for 20 hours, I would basically eat maybe like an 800 to uh, 1000 calorie meal, and then I would wait a few hours, and then at the end of my four hour eating window, I'll eat the rest of my calories. So that's what I'm doing. Some days I just eat all the calories in one go if I fast longer. Now tips on how to stay consistent with OMAD. I think the key is ending your fast at the same time every day. That is key with one meal a day. I love the sweet spot of ending my fast right now at the six o'clock range. So that could be 6.30, maybe 6.45 because if I have a day at the gym where I'm really hungry, I can break my fast at 2 p.m. and it's a win. So I find that useful, it's key. And if I'm not really hungry, then I can push my fast to like 22, 23 hours. So that is the key to stay consistent. So throughout this challenge, I'll be dropping tons of tips and tons of stuff on how you can get this weight loss off. And I wanna know, what is your goal for this month weight loss challenge. Remember, I think everyone's goal should be consistency. Everyone's goal should be just doing the damn thing. Don't put a number on it. Just stay consistent and the scale will work in your favor. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, just drop in some tree emojis because I'm in the middle of the field with some trees. And I'm so excited to be hosting this challenge with you guys and doing it with you guys. I'm so glad to be back on one meal a day. And I'm so grateful that I can actually push my body into walking in these steps. Because as you guys know, if you don't know, after the car accident, I could move. And a few months ago, it was hard for me to walk and have prolonged steps because of my knee and hip injury but thanks to working to a per with a personal trainer and understanding the power of proper form and the right exercises to help heal your body i am no longer in chronic knee and hip pain it may pop up here and there but not to the point where i'm unable to get in my steps so i'm pretty happy so remember it's a privilege to move